Hey viewers, happy Sunday, December 8th. Hope you're enjoying your 8th day of December and your 8th day of my fantastic holiday present to you guys. In case you haven't noticed, I'm AD Video Editor, and today I will be going over color balance in Sony Vegas. So why don't we open up Sony Vegas? And go, feel free and go ahead and import some footage, and if necessary, adjust the length. And you're going to go in the bottom right hand corner and click event effects. And then scroll down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 until you get to color balance and add it right on in. And then you'll notice this appears. So some stuff you'll already be familiar with is that red, green, and blue of course means red, green, and blue. And you could probably guess that when you increase the red, the red increases. When you increase the green, the green increases. When you increase the blue, the blue increases. What this does, it, it just basically adjusts the color balance, as it says color balance. So it, it lets you play around with the color balance in there, because let's say, for some reason, your video starts off, your video looks like this, very blue. You could easily use, just bump up some red, bump up some green, and you can balance out the colors. And also, if you notice, you can go down. Let me just reset these all to default. Reset default. If you bring blue down, it gives you yellow. If you bring your green down, you get like this pinkish, light pinkish purplish color. And if you bring your red down, you get this light blue color. So depending on the colors of your videos, you might want to play around with these so you get a video that looks the appropriate colors and not a video that ends up looking like that, you know? And next I'm going to go over this Presuve lum Luminosity check mark thing over here. So you'll notice if I bring red all the way up and uncheck it, it sort of lightens the color a little bit and I feel it sort of makes it more na a little bit more natural. So as you see here, we have that, and sort of just increasing the red, whereas if I, it's checked, I feel it's just such a harsh red. So if you wanted something a little bit lighter, you might want to leave this unchecked, but if you wanted something very like harsh or dark or a very specific color, you might want to leave it checked. And next we have the type. The three types are highlights, midtones, and shadows, and if you're not sure what they are, the highlights would basically be the lighter colors up to white, the shadows would be the darker colors down to dark, and the midtones is everything in between. So when you adjust the midtones, you're pretty much adjusting the main parts of your video. But if you had a video with lots of highlights or shadows, you could easily just change the type to highlights and shadows and adjust the color balance of those. Well, okay, okay guys, thanks for watching. Please continue to watch my tutorials. I will see you guys later today, and please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and email me if you need to, and anything else you need. Okay, bye.